guys. Wait for a few more minutes. See how many people join us here. I got a couple. It's Saturday, right? We're all lagging behind a little bit. Yes, that's right, Kim. Let's do this, right? Let's get my phone going here for music and timer. I got so many devices. I got another phone for videoing, iPad for Instagram, and then the old phone for music and timer. All right, so if you're just joining, you need weights and a mat. Okay, that's just all you need this morning, nothing else. Weights, mats, and yourself. We uh, are gonna do a nice total body workout this morning. We're gonna run it like we normally do at the Fit Mill. So six stations, four exercises. Each exercise will be 30 seconds and we'll do three sets of everything. So, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Give it a couple more minutes, see how many more people we get here and then we'll get going. Finish that last sip of coffee if you're drinking it. I just made pancakes and bacon for my boys. Boy, did it smell good. Boy, did I want some. <laughs> After my workout, right? It's Saturday. Looks like the sun's gonna peek out. Maybe hopefully stay a little cool before, we, before we're done with this workout. It's gonna get too hot. All right, if you're just joining, grab your weights, grab a mat. I'm gonna get going here in a minute. In between each set, I'll try to demo quickly what we're gonna do next. You'll have about a 40 second break in between each round. or um, So you'll have six stations per se with four exercises, each one 30 seconds, and we'll do it three times through. All right, got your weights and your mat. You guys ready for this? You can get those watches going. So first one is I always like to do the first station like a warm up. So we're gonna do jumping jacks. We're gonna do squats to get those legs warmed up and then a lunge with a front kick and we'll do right and then we'll do left. So if you're ready for this, I'm gonna get the clock going. All right, so we're gonna just start with some jumping jacks. Just get that heart rate up, nice and easy. If jumping is not there for you, you can always do a step out. Okay, get those arms overhead though. That's where it gets that heart rate coming up a little bit more, that blood flowing. You got 10 seconds left here on these. Well, it looks like my cat's gonna join us this morning. All right, we're gonna take it to some squats. So in squats, it's important that your weight stays in your heels and you sit down and back. Chest stays lifted. If you're sitting in that chair, just nice and easy, warming it up. Ten seconds. We're gonna take it to a lunge on the right side and then a little front kick. All right, so lunge back, drag with that heel. So drop that back knee straight down and then forward kick little balance challenge here. Anytime we have to challenge our balance, we're using our core. Drop it down, kick it forward. Ready in three, two, one. Take it to the other side. So step it back, drive it forward. If you're just joining us, you're gonna need some weights and a mat. We're gonna do six stations, four exercises each, 30 seconds each exercise, three times through. 10 seconds left. First little break, three, two, one. All right, so 15 second break here. We're gonna go back to the top. So we're gonna start with jumping jacks and then take it to those squats. All right, ready? Here we go. Back to those jumping jacks. It's 
Stay with it. You got about 10 seconds here. Remember, option to step it out if you need to take that jumping out. All right, ready in three, two, one. Take it to that squat. Sit it down and back. Chest stays lifted. Weight in the heels. Remember, this is our warm up round. It's getting those muscles loosened up, that heart rate up, getting ready to pick up those weights. And that next round. All right, switch it. Step it back, drop that knee, drive that heel forward. Lunge, kick. So try to lead with the heel on that kick. Get nice and low on that lunge, that front leg, that knee stays stuck right over the ankle. Hold it for five. Other side, three, two, one. All right, switch it. Left leg. That little break is coming. Well, 15 second break here. You got 10 seconds on this leg. One more. All right, let it go. All right, so one more time at this warm up station. Back to those jumping jacks. Hey, you got oh, five seconds. Catch that breath. And then we're going to go. All right, you ready? Here we go. Back to those jumping jacks. seconds. One more time on those squats. In three, two, one. All right, squat it out. Maybe you're a little deeper than you were on those first two sets. As those muscles warm up, just make sure you're keeping good form. Chest stays lifted. Watch your knees. They stay tracked over the ankles. You're gonna take it to that lunge on that right side with that front kick. Ready? All right, let's do it. Lunge it back, kick it forward. Drop it down, drive with that heel. I was really hoping that sun would stay away through this workout. Don't get me wrong, it's better than the rain, but I don't need the heat until later. <laughs> All right, let's switch it out. Drop it down with that left, kick with that left. Challenge that balance. Every time you kick forward, that core engages. Almost done with this warm up round. You're gonna need to grab your weights. We got bicep curls, a reverse fly, and a lunge to a deadlift. Ready? Last one. There it is. All right, that's your break. The warm-up station done. You're gonna grab those weights. Just an easy bicep curl on the next one. Then a reverse fly. So reverse fly, soft bend in the knees, hinge forward. You're gonna open up. So you should have a soft bend in the elbows. Then you're gonna lunge back and take it to a deadlift. All right, so single leg work here, right then left. That's what we got in store for you. All right, are we ready? Grab those weights, here we go. So it's important with the bicep curls, you also keep that soft bend in the knees, nice tall through the body, nice engaged core. Now you don't wanna lock out the knees, you wanna keep that blood Flowing all the way through. Five seconds here. 
you're gonna hinge forward and give me that reverse slide. My palms are facing in, soft bend in my elbows. I'm gonna open up through that chest and squeeze through my shoulder blades, okay? Making sure that core, that belly button is pulled up towards that spine, soft bend in the knees. You've got less than 10 here. We're gonna take it to that lunge with that deadlift. If you need to drop the weight, always that option. So here we go. Right leg's gonna go back. As I come up, I'm gonna hinge forward. I'm gonna pull through my glutes, come back to standing, back to that lunge. Important with deadlifts that our back stays nice and flat. So you see me from the side, my back stays flat, don't lose my balance, and I pull through my glutes to come back to that standing position. The weights trail the front of my legs. All right, switch it out. Left leg back, hinge it forward. Keep that back nice and flat. Pull through the glutes and the hamstrings to bring it back to that standing position. You got 10 seconds on this side. Of course, someone's mowing. I hope you guys can't hear that. Or if you do, you still hear me. One more. All right, let it go. All right, so that's what it looks like. You're gonna do that two more times. We're gonna go back to the top, back to those bicep curls. Are we ready? Here we go. Soft bend in the knees. My elbows are locked into my rib cage. Full range of motion, all the way down and all the way up. Gonna be a sweaty one today. Stay with it. You got less than 10. You're gonna take it to that reverse fly in three, two, one. All right, so hinge it forward. Soft bend. Open it up. Squeeze through those shoulder blades. All right, each time, open up that chest and pull back. My elbows don't lock out. My palms stay facing in. I'm pretending as if I'm pinching that pencil between my shoulder blades each time. You got it for five. We go back to that lunge. Ready? Right leg goes back. Drop it down. Take it to that deadlift. So when it comes to movements like this, it's important to slow it down. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. When I'm in that deadlift, my toe is pointing towards the ground. My hip is pointed down towards the ground. I'm keeping that back nice and flat. Another common error in deadlifts, people try to go all the way to the ground, then they hurt their back. So I'm making sure you're going your range of motion. All right, let's take it. Other side. Keep that toe pointed down. Oh, lost my balance there. Take it back to that lunge. Hinge forward. You got 10 and you got that little break one more time here all right let it go all right so one more time then we're gonna go back to some cardio although my heart rate is still up let's be honest all right ready for biceps here it is Good morning. <clears throat> if you're just joining us, you've only missed a little bit. We got weights and a mat. You're going into bicep curls right now. And we're going to take it to reverse fly next. 10 seconds. You're going to hinge forward at that waist. Take it to that reverse fly. Ready? Here we go. Open it up. Squeeze through that back. Pull those palms apart. Keep that hinge at your waist. Belly button pulled up towards the spine. Ten seconds. And then go back to that lunge with that deadlift. And five. Give me one more of these reverse flies. Here we go. 
All right. Lunge it back with that right. Drop that knee. Hinge forward. Pull through that glute. How are we feeling? Nice and warmed up. I'm sweaty for sure. 10 seconds. All right, switch legs. Lunge with that left. Hinge forward into that deadlift. Single leg work here. <clears throat> Slowing it down. Little combo move. You've got 10 seconds. I'm gonna, you got that 40 second break coming. I'm gonna give you the demo of the next four exercises. All right, let it go. All right, so no weights on this one. You just need yourself. You're gonna start with ski jumps. So those are side to side. If you're not jumping, you're up, pivot, squat. Then you're gonna drop down for some push-ups. Then we're gonna go to a plank with a toe reach. So you're just alternating opposite hand, opposite toe. And then we're gonna finish with two jumps forward. You can use that mat as your guide. Walk it back low. All right, so we're gonna stay low in this. Those are the four. All right, we ready? Here we go. Ski jumps, side to side, like I said. If you're not jumping, you're up and low. Up on those toes, then take it into that squat. Keep those knees and those feet together, tracking to the right and to the left. You've got five. All right, drop it down, push-ups. So, hands are right underneath the shoulders. You're leading with that chest. Always option for the knees, okay? Form is always more important than trying to be a badass and going out of form, right? Hurting yourself. So chin slightly forward, drop that chest down, press it out and away. Can't see my timer. <laughs> All right, hold the plank, reach towards left hand, right toe. Take it back to that plank, reach other side. You're alternating that plank and that toe reach. You got 10 seconds here. You're gonna come on up to your feet. Last one. All right, stand up. I'm gonna watch the back of my mat. I'm gonna use it as my guide. Two forward, stay low, walk it back. Staying low, you're gonna engage those glutes, those quads. You got less than 10. Okay, finish it out. There it is. All right, no surprises left in that one. All right, so you're gonna go back to those ski jumps. In five. All right, we ready? Here we go. Back to those ski jumps, side to side. If you need to, up, down, okay? Your call, your body, your call. got 10. You're going to take it down to the ground for push-ups in three, two, one. Nice job. All right. Drop it down. Find that push-up position. Take that chest down, press out and away. So try not to lead with your head. Like I said, knees, always an option. You got five. Last one. Good job. All right. Find that plank position. 
you're reaching towards those toes. How to use my mat. I'm slipping, if not. So reach it back. That little pike. You're getting that core action in. Give me one more. Here we go. All right. Stand it up. Take it to that hop forward. Walk it back. Hop it forward. Walk it back. Looking good, everybody. Stay with it. Land softly. Again, if you're not jumping, that's okay. Walk it forward. Walk it back. Or take some big steps forward. All right. Let it go. All right. One more time at this halfway station. And then we're going to drop down to the ground, get some bridges and some chest. So you get a little break from that cardio. Ready? Here we go. Last time on these ski jumps, side to side, those knees and feet stay pointed in the same direction, going from that right to that left. You got 10 seconds. You can take it to the ground for push-ups. All right, let's go. Drop it down. Keep breathing through it, okay? Each time you drop down, exhale. Each time you push up, inhale. You have five seconds. Give me two more, here we go. One and two. Nice job. All right, find that plank. Reach to that toe. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Get that nice big reach, cross that body. You got 10 seconds. We're gonna finish this round with those hop forwards in five, three. All right, let it go. Here we go. Hop it forward, walk it back. Stay low, whole time, don't come up. You've got that break, and I promise you, we're gonna drop it to the ground. You got less than 10. One more forward. Walk it back, you're done. Awesome job. All right, so you'll need your weights and your mat for this one. You're gonna start in a bridge with a pulse. Each time your hips come up, you're gonna give me a chest press. Then you're gonna hold the hips up and you're gonna go into a tricep press. So elbows are gonna brush the sides of the body and you're gonna press straight out, okay? That's two. Then you'll flip it over and you'll give me a plank to reach. So, I'm sorry, plank with a renegade row. So you'll have your weights, give me one and two and then we'll finish with mountain climbers. All right, we ready? Here we go. Grab your weight. Find that bridge position. So my hips are up as I press out and away. I'm gonna drop my hips and my elbows are gonna drop down to the mat. Palms face forward, elbows come nice and wide. Squeeze those glutes, drive through those heels. Can't see my timer. <laughs> All right, five seconds here. All right, ready? Flip the palms so they face each other. Hips stay up. Drop the elbows down by that rib cage and then press out. Drop it down, extend. This is working the back of the arms, those triceps. Should be pressing straight out of the shoulders. Those driving through those heels so that those glutes are engaged. You've got five seconds here. We're gonna flip it over into that plank. Three, two, one. All right, 
flip it over. Find that plank position. You've got your weight. You're going to take it into that row. So the elbow's going to come straight back. Squeeze. The challenge here is to keep your hips pointed down towards the ground. Don't let them open as you pull. You're engaging that core. Big squeeze and release. You've got it for five. You're gonna drop those weights or you can hold on to them either way, but you got mountain climbers. So driving those knees in. I know it's a lot on the shoulders. Stay with it, okay? Here we go. Woo! My shoulders are on fire. You got 10 seconds. Keep those hips down. Hold it for five, three, two, and one. Nice job. I know that one was rough. All right, so we're gonna go back to the top. So back to that bridge. I'll prop my timer up there so I can see it. That bridge is gonna pulse as we go into that chest press. All right, here we go. Drive through those heels, drop those elbows, squeeze up. Right over the shoulders at the top. You got less than 10. You're gonna hold those hips up in three, two, one. Hold those hips, palms face in. Drop the elbows straight down and then press up. Anyone else's shoulders on fire right now? Mine are. And all I can think about is that we have to do planks and mountain climbers. Get those hips higher, press through those heels. You should be feeling them burn right about now. You got five seconds here. All right, flip it over. Take it to that row and that plank. So find that plank position. I'm gonna show you a different view this time and row it back. My hips are staying down. Pull and squeeze. You can always do this on your knees too. If you need that modification, it is there for you. Last one. All right, mountain climbers, here we go. Take those knees in. My shoulders, you got it. Woo. All right, ready? I'm gonna, we're gonna do this, 10 seconds, here we go. No breaks, you got it, you're strong. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right, one more time here, okay? And then your four stations done. We're gonna pop back up in a second here for our last little cardio and then that last station will be abs all right grab those weights back on your back get those hips up press those palms out and away each time you drop the weights your hips drop as well ten seconds All right, hold them up. Turn those palms, face them in. Press out, those biceps brush down the sides of the body and then straight up. Get those hips higher, feel those glutes. You got five seconds here. You're gonna flip it over for that renegade row and that plank, three, two, one, all right, flip it over. Take it to that renegade row. So find that plank position. Feet can be wider than hips. The wider your feet are, the more stability you will have in this. That belly button is up towards the spine. Everything is engaged here. It's not just the back you're working, you're working the core, you're working it all. You've got it for five. You're gonna take it to those mountain climbers. I know they suck. But this is it, last one. 
All right, let's go. Let's do it. You can tell I'm real excited about it as quickly as I can into it. Woo! Shoulders on fire. We're gonna come into that 10 second mark and we're not gonna stop. Are we ready? Here we go. Here it is, 10 seconds. You've got it. Stay with it for five, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, we're coming up. So next round, I'm turning this so you can see me a little better. We're gonna go, we got burpees, I know, but it's your last cardio. You're gonna start on your knees for the first one. You're gonna come up and down, okay? Try to alternate those legs. Then you're gonna grab your weight. We're gonna do wood choppers. We're gonna go right to left, left to right, and then we've got burpees. All right, you ready for that? Here we go. All right, so come down onto your knees. You're gonna step up, right, left, back down. Try to alternate which leg does the stepping up first. So it's a nice isolated move here, staying low. You got 10 seconds. Hold it for five. All right, stand it up. Grab your weight. We're gonna go right side first. So over that right side, down to that left. Arms are relatively straight. You sit down into that squat each time. Ten seconds on this side. I'm gonna switch sides. In three, two, one. All right. Take it other side. Drop it down. How are we feeling? Feeling good. We're on round five. Only one more after this, and it's gonna be all abs. Stay with it. 10 seconds, I'm gonna drop that weight. We're gonna take it to burpees, however you burpee. All right, let it go. All right, hands down, hop it out, hop it in, hop it up. You can add in that push up if you want. If you need to walk it out, walk it in, stand it up, it's your call. Like I said, this is your time, no one else's. It's all about you and what you can do today, what your body can do today. Five seconds. All right, let it go. Woo. Oh, we're gonna go back to the start, back to that kneeling to squat. If you're really wanting to, you can try to jump out of this position. I'll leave that up to you though. All right, here we go. Take it down and up. Stay low. Try to alternate those legs. You got less than 10. You're gonna pick up that weight. You're gonna go back to those witch hoppers. Three, two, and one. All right, grab that weight. Here we go. Right side to left. Big reach over, drop it down. So try not to just reach towards the ground. Get that squat. You don't want to hurt your back. You got it. Last one. All right, switch. Over that left side, down to that right shin. It's amazing how sneaky these guys are. Getting that heart rate up more than you would think. You got 10 seconds. You're gonna take it back to those burpees. Last one. All right, let's go. Burpees, hop it back, hop it in, hop it up. If you want, 
and add in that burp, that push up all the way to the ground. Your call. Stay with me. You got less than 10. One more. Awesome job. All right, this is it. One more cardio round here. Last two minutes before that final six minutes of abs. So come back down to your knees. Here we go. Let's just get it done, right? Knock it out. I'm so sweaty. I got bugs all around my face. Oh, how lovely. You got 10 seconds. Hold it for five. I'm gonna grab that weight. Three, two, one. All right. Pick up that weight. Here we go. Right side, down to that left. Up and overhead, drop it down. Reach to that shin. Five seconds this side. Last one. There you go. All right, here we go. Other side. Take it up, drop it down. Reach and lower into that squat each time. You got 10 seconds here. One more set of burpees, and you're all done with those burpees. Last wood chopper. All right, let it go. Here we go. 30 seconds of burpees. You can do it. Stay with me. 10 seconds. Give me two more. One and two. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna drop it down for some abs. So you will need a weight. We're gonna start with a plank with a drag through. So what that looks like, you got your plank, you're gonna pull that weight side to side. Then you're gonna flip it over. It's gonna come on your back. That weight is gonna come out of your shoulders. Legs are up. You're gonna alternate, dropping them down. And then left leg's gonna go long, right leg, left hand. So we're gonna start with one side and then the other. Some cross crunches. All right. I'm gonna get a super quick sip of water. I think because of all the sweaty, I'm feeling a little parched. All right, let's go. Here we go, this is it. This is round six. Find that plank position. Pull that weight through. So my feet are wider than my hips. My hands are wider than my shoulders. I'm dragging that weight. I'm keeping my hips pointed towards the ground. 10 seconds here. Hold it for five. You're gonna flip over on your back. Three, two, one. All right, lay it down. Grab that weight. Shoulder blades are up. Weight is right out of your shoulders. Drop the right leg and then the left. So you're alternating that leg drop, but you're keeping that C crunch at the top. So those abs, you should feel the lower and the upper. We got five seconds here. You're gonna drop that weight. All right, let it go. My legs are gonna go long. I'm gonna take my left hand and reach towards my right toe. Really sit back down. So opposite leg, opposite arm. So reach and lift. We're gonna have to flip around next round. The sun is amazing. Stay with it, 10 seconds. Exhale, each time you reach up, get those shoulder blades up. All right, switch it, other side. Oh my 
left arm is straight out from my shoulders. My right arm is the one reaching towards the toes and I'm getting that shoulder blade up. Big reach, exhale, and inhale as you release. You got 10 seconds. Hold it, last one. Here we go, one more for good measure. All right, so there's no more surprises here. This is it. You're at the end of your workout. If you're just joining me, it'll be on the FitMo Live for the next 24 hours. So you can get it in whenever it is good for you. All right, here we go. Find that plank position. That weight is over to the side. I'm pulling it through. Opposite arm, drag it through. Hips down, feet slightly wider than hip distance. Keep those hip bones like they're headlights pointed towards the ground. You got five. All right, flip it over. Get onto your back, arms coming straight out the shoulders, shoulder blades up, and then I'm tapping opposite leg down. Whew. Keep that little curve. If your neck gets tired, you can drop it down. You're just gonna miss out on those upper abs. You got less than 10. You're gonna drop that weight. In three, two, one. All right, drop that weight. My right arm is out, left leg, right toe. My cat right in the way, right? Opposite leg, opposite arm. Exhale each time. How are you feeling? We feeling good? We're at the end of our workout. We're laying down, right? It's our favorite way to end a workout is on our back. All right, let's switch it out. Right arm, left toe. Exhale and release. Good news is we're about two minutes away from being all done on this Saturday morning. You can go enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Five seconds. One more, and there you go. All right, this is it. Last two minutes this morning on your morning workout. Are we ready for this? I know I am. All right, grab that weight, put it to the side. Find that plank position. Here we go, drag it through. Keep those hips pointed down. Stay with me. Your abs on fire yet? Third round here. Belly buttons up towards that spine. Don't let it sag. Protect that lower back. Three, two, and one. All right, flip it over. Get those shoulder blades up. Drop one leg, then the other. If you have lower back problems, take your legs into a 90 degree and tap one heel at a time, okay? Otherwise, trying to keep those legs straight. If you wanna make it even more challenging, you could do both legs at the same time. But make sure that lower back stays pressed into the mat. All right, we're ditching that weight. Right arm, left leg or opposite. Opposite arm, opposite leg, that's all that matters. Reach it up, get that shoulder blade up. Exhale and release. You got less than 10 on this side and you're going to the other side. All right, let's switch it. This is it, last 30 seconds this morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Such a great way to start off my day with all of you getting in a good sweat. Like I said, if you just joined us or you joined late, this will be on all day, 24 hours on the FitMo stories, in the live portion. One more, here we go. And you are all done. 
awesome job. Also, if you haven't checked us out on YouTube, check us out on YouTube. We got lots of workouts on YouTube. Short ones, longer ones. There's a thousand rep challenge on there. There's some 10 minute quick workouts. So hopefully we're keeping you a little bit sane during this time. I know for us, we love doing it for you and it keeps us happy. So thanks again for joining this morning. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and that you got a little something in for yourself before you go hang out with your family, right? Thanks, Casey. Oh, it is hot. It's gonna be another hot one today. I hope you have some type of... Thanks, Sasha. Thanks, honey. My husband joined from the fire station this morning, so he says, good job, everybody. Um, I got a little blow up pool in my backyard. I have a feeling I'll be in that later today. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have some way to cool off even if it's the hose, right? All right, well, like I said, find us on YouTube, or if you joined us late, this will be on our stories for the rest of the day. Thanks, Emirate. All right, well, I'm gonna get my sweaty self in the house and eat some breakfast. You guys should go do it too. All right, thanks again, everybody.